Here's how to get a lot of Clover Coins fast in Pet Simulator X. So this is literally the best method. I've literally gotten like tens of billions of Clover Coins within like not too long. I mean, I don't have many right now because I kind of spent them all. Look at my inventory. Those are literally all mythics. And I even got two secrets. One of them is even golden. But do you want a free huge pet? Just like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. Here's last video's winner. You get a huge elf cat. So there we go. And sent. So this is the best strategy. A lot of people are wondering is there any specific area that more coins spawn or just what place is the most worth it to grind well that kind of depends so the bigger areas of course spawn more coins but how coin spawning works is as you break more coins more will spawn so let me just put all my pets on these and then as you can see after i break them more fall from the sky so you basically just need to do that in whatever area it doesn't really matter too much i'm pretty sure they have the same spawn rate in all areas but there are some areas with a slightly higher spawn rate so same spawn rate for basically everywhere but bigger areas are better because more can spawn and also it may just be the same spawn rate for the world because it seems like fantasy world has the highest spawn rate so like for example let's go to samurai island this is a server from when i was streaming it and the people probably took all of the coins from here but usually a decent amount spawn here and it's best to grind with a group of friends so if you need to do the quest to open 150 or mine 150 of the coin stacks then it's best to do it like here or another really good place is haunted island just tell them to mine everything but for some reason at haunted island the big pots always spawn which is best for the second quest i'll do a video on the quest like right after this one because a lot of people are still confused about the quest so if you're like really new to the game fantasy world is probably gonna be the best bet for you but another good place is the cat world the cat i don't know how to pronounce that word but the third place this is all also relatively good for getting coins along with the last area of the cat world but they're also lucky blocks so I'm just gonna give you guys a tip so the lucky blocks and any other things don't count towards like the quests and they're not really useful like the lucky blocks literally just open a bad egg a lot of the time or give you like a really small amount of something so they're not really too good again since I was streaming most people took like all of the coins so they're very little but the final areas of the cat world world are really good for grinding then finally doodle world is the best for grinding so i'm pretty sure doodle cave the final area has an increased spawn rate for coins and stuff like there are always a lot more coins here and a lot more chests but they are very hard to break so the normal chests are already pretty hard to break but if i go to break these coins well this is three times coins it also seems like multipliers of coins spawn a lot more in doodle world but yeah you can see that's a pretty high number and i have all super teamwork pets equipped right now except for my titanics of course if i had super teamwork titanics i could get like multiple titanics for them and i'd be the richest player in the game but pretty much all my other pets which are exclusives and a valentine's bear have super teamwork on them so it is definitely very useful okay here's the next part of the strat so you just want to find the area that you can mine the best thing in like you don't want it to take too long i'd say around like maybe a minute is how long it takes for me to mine one of these maybe like 30 seconds somewhere around there that is the best way you can also find other people to help you mine it but i'm pretty sure the more you mine the more you get so it doesn't really matter just find the best area pretty much all of doodle world is good and it goes from being really hard like that to even if you have like a few huges and just like a 10q pet you can mine some of these relatively fast like i mean this one is still really like, kind of hard to mine for some people but if you go to the beginning of doodle world the beginning actually spawns a bit of chests and stuff so you can grind there too but i'd say just try getting to doodle world like I can I mean you can get hype gifts for free so even if you're completely new to the game like probably have a hype gift or at least like something slightly decent you can sell it for like a billion maybe and then you can find 40 Q pets for like usually less than a billion or like 19 Q pets so just get like decent pets and then grind doodle world like you just need to make it in doodle world and get some decent stuff but okay some coins spawn and that's only 470 Q so if you had like 40 Q pets that would only take like 10 to 15 seconds and that'd be decent for you to grind if you're like not someone with a whole bunch of huges and stuff so it's still pretty useful but now what is the best layout to have for pets well i recommend to do the most damage just have super teamwork so you can search enchants just type in super teamwork and 
find them. So none of my Titanics had it, but my Easter Cat and Balloon Cat both have Super Teamwork. Then I have some exclusives with Super Teamwork. So just try to use Super Teamwork exclusives if you don't have any Teamwork works too. But if you don't have any of those, then you're probably just going to be stuck with either using the best pets or trying to use damage pets. Royal T can also be good, but I mean, it's not really too useful. The enchants I got on my Clover Unicorns are coins and gifts and then diamond and agility. So none of them are really that good. My Clover Unicorn has royalty. So if I got a Rainbow Clover Unicorn, it would probably be around like maybe 18 Q. But if it had a royalty, then it'd be like 36 Q basically. So that, well, I mean, this one has royalty and it's 4 Q. So that is pretty good. But don't underestimate Super Teamwork. Because if I unequip all these exclusives with Super Teamwork and the Huges and just have the Titanics, which I mean, Titanics are still pretty good. If I just don't have those exclusives with Super Teamwork, it mines at a decent speed, but that's like about 1 to 2 QT per second. If I bring out the Super Teamwork pets, it instantly increases to literally like 20 per second. So yeah, even if you have Super Teamwork exclusives, it's literally like a 10 times faster multiplier for mining, so you definitely need to have those. And enchants don't really make it too much more expensive, so you might be paying an extra 5 to 10 billion for a huge with Super Teamwork, but trust me, it is definitely worth it for grinding this event. Other enchants don't really matter too much, like strength only increases the strength of that one pet, so even if I had strength V for all pets, then that would just be double each one and it would mine two times faster. So Super Teamwork, literally 10 times faster, and my Titanics don't have it, so if I had all Super Teamwork huges, then that'd probably be like a lot faster too. Like each one just multiplies how much the team does, so it like stacks up instead of just like adding like other enchants do, but again, definitely the best strat. You guys need to do this if you want to grind the event. You can get so much really fast with it. Like, even mining this really big chest, well, I mean, it's still gonna take a really, really long time. But it is possible now, because I do like 20 QT damage per second. But I'm not even that strong. Like, if you go to the strength leaderboard, which, well, in this update, they added it where it's top power now. Wait, they completely removed the rap leaderboard part? Oh, wow. In my opinion, I think that's kind of dumb, because, like, rap was mostly accurate, so you could see, like, who's the richest. Power doesn't really matter too much, because you just have to get, like, a uh, dark matter, shiny, whatever that thing was from Doodle World, and then boom, you have an 80 hue power pet. So I only have, well, this is the thing with power. It doesn't really work too well. It says that I only have 20 billion power, even though, or wait, now it says I have 35 trillion. And it, wait, it changed to rap? Okay, the leaderboards are kind of broken, but anyways, I have, like, a amount of power that is decent, and, um, but I'm, like, nowhere near the top. Like, some people, they probably have a full team of, like, Super Teamwork Titanics, and they can take down, like, whatever they want and do, like, a thousand times more damage than I can, so. Anyways, good luck with this event. I'm gonna do some more videos on it, but I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, real quick, I'm also about to do a video on quests literally, like, a few minutes after I upload this video. I'm doing, like, five videos today, so yeah.